Hi, I'm Ben Crochelle, and today I'm going to be talking about limited slip differentials. So you can do things like this. Before we get started on what's a limited slip differential, I'm going to be talking about what's a differential. A differential allows power to be split between two wheels. So if two wheels are traveling in the same direction, it allows one wheel to turn at a slower rate than the other wheel. For example, when making a turn, the inside wheel is going to be traveling at a slower speed because it's going less distance than the outside wheel. On an open differential, power is sent to the wheel with the least resistance, or the path of least resistance. So unfortunately, if you're driving up a hill and one wheel starts to slip on a puddle or a block of ice or something like that, that's the wheel that's going to be sent all the torque and you're probably not going to go anywhere. You're just going to keep spinning and spinning your wheels. This is where the limited slip differential comes into play. It's exactly what it sounds like. It limits slip. So when one wheel loses traction, the limited slip differential sends torque to the wheel that has more traction. So you can identify a limited slip differential like on this Corvette Z06 provided by GM, we thank our sponsors, by simply turning the opposing drive wheel in the same direction, the opposing drive wheel should turn in that same direction. My mechanic, Tim Murs, is going to demonstrate. Would you look at that? So how does it work? Well, there are several types of limited slip differentials out there, including viscous, clutch, geared, and electronic. I'm going to be focusing on clutch just because it's one of the most common styles of limited slip differentials out there today. Before I go over the operation of the clutch type limited slip, let me quickly go over the construction of the limited slip. So like a normal differential, you're going to have your pinion gear tucked away back there, turning this ring gear which turns the differential case and then on a limited slip differential our differential case has um, these, this clutch pack as you can see here tucked right into the differential case that connects directly to the side gear into the spider gear up top there and with these this clutch pack we have two different types of clutch discs one with these ears um, that connect right into this groove of the differential case and they move with the differential case and then the other kind right here which connects directly to the side gear and turns with the side gear so when they mesh obviously it'll, it'll lock together when there's enough pressure on them so there's preload on these clutch packs from these curved steel discs that are in here um, unlike the animation where there's a preload spring right in the middle. But it's, it does essentially the same thing. It puts pressure on um, pressure or preload on the clutch discs, um, allowing them to turn as one unit if the thing's in the air, like that Corvette where you turned one wheel and the other wheel went in the same direction. So when you encounter a low traction situation, the limited slip differential case is going to start to work its magic a little bit when these side gears start to mesh against the spider gears the force, the differential thrust force um, because of the shape of these teeth meshing against each other are going to start to push these side gears away from the spider gears towards the wheels and what that does is it starts to put pressure and compress these clutch packs and when it puts pressure and compresses these clutch packs it allows this limited slip differential to turn both wheels as one unit sending power to both wheels um, and getting yourself out of that low traction situation so when you're making a turn the limited slip differential can act like an open diff in that the um, thrust force from beveled gear separation is not that high um, which means it's going to allow these clutch discs to slip um, on both sides of the differential case allowing both wheels to turn independently so it can make that turn without chewing your tires up. Maintenance really varies application to application for example on this 2005 F-150 Ford recommends changing your fluid out your differential fluid out 
every 150,000 miles. But on the Z06 Corvette, they recommend every 45,000 miles. Now, of course, if you're doing a lot of towing with your F-150, you might change it earlier, or if you're tracking your vet, it just varies based on things like that. If it's clutch type, you might add a clutch additive. On clutch type limited slip differentials, sometimes the clutch packs wear out. And you can identify this by having a friend hold one of the wheels. When you try to uh, turn the drive wheel, it shouldn't move with ease. And if it does, that's a sure sign that the clutch pack is wearing. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something today. And if you have any questions, please direct them to Professor Boyle. His cell phone number is... <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben Crow Shell, and I'm going to...